welcome back with another video lecture in this video lecture the topic under discussion is ascitic fluid before starting ascitic fluid we must know about peritoneal fluid normally in every healthy individual about 50 ml of fluid are present in the abdominal cavity which are produced by the mesothelial cells of peritoneum where mesothelial cells are the cells of body that covers the serous cavities and internal organs we called it peritoneal fluid when this fluid exceed then 50 ml and abnormal accumulation occur in the peritoneum cavity or abdominal cavity we called it ascitic fluid then the doctor advise ascitic fluid analysis which is diagnostic test for pathophysiology of fluid accumulation the function of ascitic fluid is lubrication diffusion of electrolytes that is sodium potassium chloride etc paracentesis paracentesis is the procedure which is used to remove fluid from the peritoneal cavity in this case the needle is inserted either 2 cm below the umbilicus or right or left iliac fossa region on lateral side the major amount of fluid will discard and small amount of sample is collected and sent to laboratory for various investigations that is physical chemical and microscopic examination to roll out pathology the ascitic fluid sample is usually considered to be an exudate or transudate this can be done through the following ways one of them is serum ascitic albumin gradients which indirectly measures portal pressure and can be used to determine if the ascites is due to portal hypertension now interpretation when serum ascitic albumin gradient greater than 1.1 gram per dl the ascitic fluid is transudate when serum ascitic albumin gradient is less than 1.1 gram per dl it suggests the ascitic fluid is in exudate the specific gravity of exudate sample is greater than 1.016 while transudate sample have less than 1.016 specific gravity the protein of exudate sample is greater than 3.0 but transudate sample have less than 3.0 transudate sample have few lymphocytes while exudate sample have many rbc's a high serum ascitic albumin gradients or transudate sample suggest the presence of portal hypertension which may be cause of cirrhosis hepatic failure venous occlusion alcoholic hepatitis and quashiercar malnutrition causes of low serum ascitic albumin gradient or exudate sample include malignancy infection pancreatitis and nephrotic syndrome we have another way of differentiating between an exudate and transudate sample through lactate dehydrogenase test or lactate dehydrogenase enzyme if the sample have less than 225 LDH it is considered transudate when LDH level increase than 225 the sample will be exudate then we have clinical feature of ascites typical clinical feature of ascites include abdominal distension and which abdomen is abnormally swollen outward or abdominal discomfort weight gain nausea and indigestion and shortness of breath if we remove large amount of fluid from the peritoneal space this done to make breathing 
comfortable then we have appearance of acidic fluid peritoneal fluid that is clear or straw colored is often associated with liver disease cloudy sample has high protein content or high cell count due to infection that is bacterial peritonitis perforated bowel and pancreatitis bloody ascites is characterized or characteristics of malignancy that is benign or malignant tumor or it can because of hemorrhagic pancreatitis or perforated ulcers milky appearance usually have high or elevated triglyceride concentration such fluid commonly referred is chylus ascites and can be related to lymphoma tb or malignancy usually then we have biochemistry of ascitic fluid biochemical analysis of ascitic fluid can provide useful diagnosis which can help to diagnose the actual cause of ascites the table summarize the typical pattern of biochemical finding which are associated with specific underlying disease if protein ranges from 0.3 to 4.0 g per dl it is considered is normal if protein is greater than 4 g per dl it indicates spontaneous bacterial peritonitis or tb when glucose is similar to serum level it considered is normal and when glucose is less than sim similar level it indicates tb and malignancy when amylase is similar to serum level it is considered to be normal and when more than serum level it indicates pancreatitis then we have ascitic fluid microscopy ascitic fluid microscopy provide available information about the number and type of red blood cells and white blood cells within the fluid which can help narrow the differential diagnosis microscopic examination include rbc's count wbc count gram staining zil nielsen staining usually for bacterial pathogens when there is no rbc's in ascitic fluid the sample is normal when rbc's are greater than 100 per microliter it indicates malignancy and tuberculosis when greater than 10000 per microliter it indicates hemorrhage or trauma white blood cells when wbc's are less than 250 per microliter it is considered normal or sometimes in cirrhosis when greater than 250 per microliter it's abnormal ascitic fluid if greater than 250 per microliter and predominantly neutrophils are present then it indicates spontaneous bacterial peritonitis if greater than 250 per microliter and predominantly lymphocytes are present then it indicates tb the diagnostic importance of ascites are to detect etiology of ascites differentiate between transudate and exudate to detect malignancy and bacterial infections in ascitic fluid analysis physical examination include volume color turbidity coagulum types of fluid blood ph chemical examination usually total protein protein sugar albumin microscopic examination include tlc dlc neutrophil lymphocytes also malignant cells gram staining and zil zil nielsen staining can be done in microscopic examination thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment